when signing up to a clinical trial, it can be reassuring to know that women who have a history of breast cancer have been involved in the planning of any new research. For breast cancer trials, this involves consulting with our Consumer Advisory Panel, or CAP. CAP is made up of women who have received a breast cancer diagnosis, and some have participated in a clinical trial. We caught up with the former chair of the Breast Cancer Trials Consumer Advisory Panel, Leonie Young, to ask how they contribute to the clinical trials process for the patient. With Breast Cancer Trials, the Consumer Advisory Panel are involved with the research right from concept development and right through. So anybody considering a trial, especially if it's badged with breast cancer trials, should have a certain degree of confidence that people who've had that lived experience, have been there, done that, have actually looked at it and given their feedback on it, uh, that it's really well monitored in so many ways around safety and whole range of areas, all the behind the scenes work that's done that they should have a, a great confidence that, that what they're stepping into, they're going to be really well looked after. I think one of the misconceptions around clinical trials is that if you receive the placebo, you will potentially be missing out on treatment, but that's not true, is it? No, and not all the trials have a placebo either. So nobody is disadvantaged. If you're not on the treatment arm, you still receive the gold standard treatment that everybody um, will receive if they're not on a trial. And when you think about it, if you go back a number of years, those drugs and those treatments were treated that were um, determined through clinical trials research process too. So that's safe. But now what they're looking at perhaps is something, the next step up or the next phase or the... So everything's gone through that clinical trials process, so every, everyone should feel safe, but you're right, nobody ever is disadvantaged. And obviously the main benefit of a cl participating in a clinical trial is that you have access to, um, uh, potentially have access to a new treatment. What are the other benefits that you can um, gain from participating in a clinical trial? It's knowing that you're part of a team and knowing that you um, are being monitored so closely and uh, very regularly and and one of the fears that people diagnosed with cancer have really is that how do I know that it hasn't come back I've gone and had the surgery and I'm having all this treatment I can't see inside my body and I don't know so there's a real comfort in knowing that um, experts are keeping an eye on me and asking me questions and if if I may, if you know, not me, but you know, if you, if people make a, um, a mention about a side effect, it triggers them to look at something. So they're being really closely monitored all the time, and 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 in my um, case, I wasn't on a trial. And it was like I said, a very long time ago, um, but I received a, the benefit of women who'd been on clinical trials way before me, and that's what. Uh, like Leslie was saying, it's you know that you're contributing to the future and to our daughters and granddaughters and future women and men. So what advice would you give to somebody who's considering participating on a clinical trial? I would say consider it very seriously because uh, all of those things we've just said about being monitored really carefully and you're safe uh, and you have a chance of having access to the new drug that's has gone through scrutiny before it's before humans are allowed to be trialled. Um, that that you're maybe a little step ahead of everybody else who has to wait maybe five, ten years or more to get the treatment available. That was former chair of the Breast Cancer Trials Consumer Advisory Panel, Leonie Young. If you'd like to learn more about breast cancer trials, head to our website, breastcancertrials.org.au. If you'd like to keep up to date with the latest in breast cancer research, open clinical trials, stories and breast cancer trials activity, make sure you subscribe to the Breast Cancer Trials podcast and follow us on social media. If there's a topic you'd like us to cover on the podcast with our team of experts, make sure you get in touch. And if you enjoyed this podcast, make sure you tell those in your support circles to tune in.